Only when the last of the animals, horns, tusks, skin and bones have been sold, will mankind realize that money can never buy back our wildlife, quotes Paul Oxton. Dear sir, madam and my dear friends, wild is all about living or growing in the natural environment not domesticated or cultivated. Few years back, in my home garden, there was a jam fruit tree with plenty of berries throughout the year. From dawn to dusk, we hear birds singing, which gave a village feeling to the suburban life we lived. It brought birds, squirrels, crows, and even monkeys. They cleared out all our garbage and reduced the waste we dumped. Everything was great until the ant colony who lived in the tree started to come into our house from a branch which had landed on our roof. They started to invade my mom's kitchen and my book cupboards to lay their eggs. Things were going out of control. My dad had to take action by adding poison to destroy them. As time went, the ants started disappearing from our house and from the tree they lived. With that, the berries in the plants started disappearing because the flowers didn't have pollination. That reduced the birds, squirrels, crows, and also the monkeys. And it greatly increased our garbage. The imbalance we create in the wildlife affects our environment. These small changes in wildlife which we don't notice affects us at a great extent that we cannot imagine. We only wanted to get rid of the ants, but we simply lost that fresh mentality all those species brought every single day. But everything happened because of that branch started stretching onto our roof. What action we should take to coexist with wildlife is what matters. Conserving wildlife is very important because it plays a major role in maintaining the balance in our environment. Therefore, wildlife conservation is critical to create benefits of every single walk in life. In 1995, scientists introduced wolves to the Yellowstone National Park in USA. During that period, the elk's population was doubled. They destroyed the grass, Trees polluted the water with their hooves, which also eroded the rivers. Because of this, the food chain of all the other species were destroyed. While the elks thrived, without the wolves, the population of all the other species started decreasing. But with the return of the wolves, there was a spectacular change in the landscape. It not only helped to increase the population of the species, who are decreasing, but also it helped to improve the quality of water, economic level, because the tourists started increasing to see more diverse wildlife. These examples from nature give us very important lessons. Wildlife certainly deserves to be conserved because it plays a major role in maintaining the balance in our environment. We do not have any right to destroy wildlife, but we should find solutions to coexist with wildlife. Animals are a part of this world, and they are certainly not slaves of humans to be held captive for us to enjoy. What do you think about the wildlife safaris we go on? Is it fair for the wildlife? The wildlife and its habitat cannot speak, so we must and we will. Steve Irving once said, We do not own planet Earth. We belong to it and we must share it with the wildlife. Now I believe it's time we start sharing because it's their home as much as it is ours. Thank you.